distance, velocity, and acceleration. A person leaves their house and walks directly east to the nearest store, 300 meters away. After 10 seconds, we measure the person's position as 30 meters. At 20 seconds, 60 meters. At 30 seconds, 90 meters. And so on, until they reach their destination. At what velocity does the person travel? The change in position divided by the change in time gives us their velocity. We plot their position versus time. The slope of this graph is their change in position divided by the change in time. The slope is equal to 30 meters per every 10 seconds. To simplify, the slope equals 3 meters per 1 second. This is the velocity of the person. Notice the straight line. The velocity is constant. Let's look at another example. This time the person walks the same path, but this time we track them at the following positions. At 10 seconds, 20 meters. At 20 seconds, 60 meters. At 30 seconds, 120 meters. At 40 seconds, 200 meters. At 50 seconds, 300 meters. If we plot their position versus time, we notice that we do not get a straight line. This means that their velocity is increasing. We can calculate the slope of the line between positions. This will give us the instantaneous velocity for the person between measurements. For the first 10 seconds, 2 meters per second. For the next 10 seconds, 4 meters per second. For the next 10 seconds, 6 meters per second and so on. We can now plot the change of velocity versus time. This will give us a slope. The slope is equal to 2 meters per second per second, or 2 meters per second squared. This is a measurement of the increase in the person's velocity. We can say that they are accelerating at a rate of 2 meters per second squared. To repeat what we have just learned, position divided by time is equal to velocity, the rate at which a body travels. Velocity divided by time is equal to acceleration, the rate at which the velocity of a body increases.